Welcome to the beautiful U.S. Botanic Garden here in Washington, D.C., where each year volunteers offer so much of their time to help with things like the lovely holiday displays. And that makes it a fitting place for our program, Giving in Focus. I'm Tom Foreman, and once again, the fine photojournalists here at CNN have spread out across the country to capture stories of generosity, not just during the holidays, but throughout the year. Our final story comes from, well, the air up there, where one man who lost his dog found countless others and a way to give that few would even imagine. It comes from photojournalist Burke Buckhorn and Cassie Spodak. My dog's name was Conan. He was a German Shepherd. We paid good money to have the cancer treated. He responded well to the chemo, but his kidneys failed. And that's ultimately why we had to put him to sleep. Now I'm on Pilot and Paws, which is a website that people have dogs that have to be transported. These are rescuers who pull them from high kill shelters, post on this website that they have dogs to move from point A to point B. And pilots like me get emails saying another request has been posted. And I scan through them to see if there's any rescue flights that are within my area that I could do. Hey, Doug. Hey, how's life How treating you this fine day? We're doing good. Save some more dogs. It's OK, Bo. It's OK. They actually look like they know that they're about to be saved. This is different. There's people loving them. There's other dogs around them. And they almost know that they're going to be going to their forever home. Right, Bo seems to want to be in the back seat. You know what? Yeah. He just managed to get to the front. <laughs> Transporting dogs is one of the most important steps in saving dogs. You have, have to move them from rural areas, typically, to more urban areas where there's a higher probability that they're going to get rescued. What do you guys think of your new addition to your family? Oh my God, she's oh my God. absolutely beautiful. <laughs> we love her. When you look into the new owner's eyes, he knows it. for the first time, they're going to get to hold their dog. You want to hold it, honey? And they just hold their dog like they just had it forever, and they were waiting forever for this dog. You know that dog's going to have a good life. Thank you, sir. Oh, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and thank you. You actually made our Christmas. So how can I not spend my time and money thank you. giving to these dogs, giving the owners of these new dogs the opportunity to have the love that I have for these dogs? And really, that's what it's all about. Our thanks to the U.S. Botanic Garden and to all of you for watching. On behalf of all the excellent photojournalists at CNN who give their gifts all year long, I'm Tom Foreman.